Yeah, leg and arc. Leg so and arc. Just drop and this one go. Mm. Love it. Good shot. Okay. Okay, slightly push but high ball flight. Hi, Protango. Sadiha. <laughs> Are you practicing your three woods? Yes, uh, because mm. I go to golf course yes. uh, with you tomorrow. Yeah. And Pro V is back tomorrow. Ooh, exciting. So I want to show him and show you like long distance. <laughs> long distance. <laughs> Normally you have the problem with your three woods on the ground, right? On the fairways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah, yeah. Because on the tee is a lot easier. Yes, yes. Mm, okay. So Especially the, the par 5 second shot, right? Mm -hmm, yeah. I have to challenge more like to the green. Yes, you want to be on the green or near yeah. the green as possible. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to give you some trip, uh, tricks and tips mm, today okay. for the fairway woods and maybe some utilities tricks as well. So today we're going to mostly concentrate on the nerve wracking shots. Fairway woods and the utilities. You want it to kind of execute it when it's on the fairway. Maybe you are going for your second shot on the par 5 or the long par 4. This one also will come in hands. Okay, I will explain to you first the design of it. So pretty much the three woods, this design is like a small and flatter versions of the driver. That means this three woods designed also to hit from the ground, easier to hit from the ground, right? And also it's going to be the longest club in your bag that you was most likely going to be able to hit it off the ground. So it's going to be quite challenging. <laughs> okay, from my, um, from my experience teaching as well, a lot of my students, they're struggling with the three woods. They found it a little bit difficult more than a driver, which, yeah, I understand why. Because first of all, it's big. Okay, the club head is quite big, but it's flat. That means this flat and big club head right here is designed for the clubs to glide on the ground, uh, on top of the surface. Driver is fat, right? The driver is fat. That's why you need the T uh, for you to be able to hit him up. Mm. Oh, so, yes. Can I check mine? Yeah, sure. Some of the... Oh, it depends on the design. Yeah. 얇은데, 자, 이건 제 거거든요, SIM. Oh, it's Oh, more thin. <laughs> oh, more thin. Ah, this is a UFO. UFO. Yeah, it's like UFO. <laughs> Maybe some of the club, the back, it could be a little bit bigger, right? Common is the flat surface at the bottom here. It's designed for you to glide the, the grounds better, right? Also, okay. it came with the leading edge, of course, right? And the utilities. Mm. We call it a lot of names for this. Utilities, rescue. Oh, really? You don't have any nickname for this? Ipe. Huh? Ipe. Ipe? Yeah. What, what does it mean? I have no idea. I seriously have no idea. Mostly we call rescues. We we say Korean word, the nickname, Goguma. Yeah. Goguma. Goguma. Like a potato. Yeah. <laughs> like this. So it's the shape of it. Yeah, yeah. So we have we don't have the nickname for it, we just use the English word. Uh. So um it just come out like recently, not long ago, like maybe yeah, 10, yeah, 20 yeah, years yeah. ago, right? Um it designs for the golfers to use this instead of the long club, mm. which are like four irons or five uh. irons. It designed to kind of help to hit a little bit longer shots with a little bit easier way to hit it. So it's more forgiving than the longer irons. Which are like four iron, three irons or five irons for some players. They found it really difficult to get it right at the, uh, every time. So this design to kind of help it. You can see it's like a half and half of the fairway woods and the irons. Mm. The coffee is kind of design of like an iron. But oh, the back is like half of the woods. This one glide, also this glide. one glide, mm -hmm. same, right? Yes, yeah, same. So now you already, you already know the design of the club, like how it's supposed to hit. You already know you are not supposed to dig it in, right? And we'll be explaining the mistakes, the common mistakes of the beginners when they are holding the fairway woods. What they usually do is trying to hit them up 
It's easier to hit on the tee because the ball is kind of floating on top of the grass. Then from there you can hit almost like a driver kind of feeling. A little bit stay back and hit a little bit up to send the ball higher. Uh, but once it's on the ground, it's getting more tricky, uh, right? Because you don't have the space underneath the ball. So mostly the mistakes was they tend to hit them up, right? When you're trying to hit it up, you're of course going to lean back your body. You see, my club is already touching the ground. Mm. Mm. So when they're trying to hit up, they hit the ground first. Then from here, boom, 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 boom. I don't know what happened after that. Okay, in back the body to the back side, and then the hand was casting. Did you see that my club kind of like floating up? Mm. That is when you hit on top of the ball this way. This makes a uh, two meters away reserve, yes. right? All right. The ball just gonna <laughs> hop like a frog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dun, 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 right here. First of all, the ball position, very important. So normally the three woods, it will be about two balls, right, from the heels. Then this one, I would suggest three balls to the right side of the heel, because this one, this way, you want it the leading edge to approach underneath the balls a little bit better, easier as well. Okay. Leading edge hit the ball? Yes. Not, Leading not edge the will middle? approach first. Oh. Leading edge will approach right in the under of the ball, right here. Boom. After you rotate the body and send the hands out, the bottom of the club will came into work. Mm. Will just glide after. Low, low position, right? Yes, a little bit low position there. Okay. But what if you put the ball too much to the backside? What would happen? Coming down when the ball is too much backside, you might hit on top of the ball again. Bang. So you have to make sure the ball position is good enough for the club to approach the ball properly. For this one, I want you to feel like you are hitting down below. Hit a little bit downward. It's different than the driver on the tee. Trying to align the body right on top oh, of the club head. Okay, okay. Mm, okay. Then from here, after this, I want you to imagine that you want to take a slightly divot after the ball, right in front of the ball here. Okay, you're gonna aim for the divot. You're not gonna aim for hitting up anymore. When you want to aim into the divot, you're going to have easier feeling of hitting down blow. Don't worry that you're going to dig the ground. Okay, because of the capacity on the back side here, it's going to make the club it just skim across the surface. Okay. Nice and easy. So when it comes to a long par 5 or um, a long par 4, when you have really good drive, but then you still have like 200 yards or 9, 190, and you want to be a little bit precise, okay, you can use this one. This is going to be your lifesaver. A lot shorter. Oh, choi mai na ne. So this one is the mother UFO. This one the baby UFO. Yeah, yeah, something like that. 자 아이언과 우드가 반반씩 섞여서 하이브리드라는 이름이 만들어졌다는 고구마입니다. 고구마. 고구마. As you can see just now, ball position also is kind of one ball more back than the, um, the three woods because the club is already slightly shorter than the three woods, right? Instead of putting the ball too far forward, enter front. But don't worry, this guy is already designed for you to hit them easier. It's a lot more forgiving. So definitely you're going to get them well. But also a lot of people think that this one looks like an iron. So I'm gonna hit them like an iron, which is like hitting in the ground, create a lot of divot deeper in the ground. Um, it's going to take some yards off. This one is a hybrid. So you want to hit them half like a wood, half like an iron. That's why the ball position is not totally in the middle, middle front. I want you to have the same idea with three woods. Each two, use the leading edge a little bit only, okay? Not to dig in the ground, but to use the leading edge approach underneath the ball. That means the hand doesn't have to be too far forward. Ah, uh, not like this? No need. 자 여러분 이제 3번 우드와 이 하이브리드 레스큐죠 네 고구마의 클럽에 대한 특성을 알아봤습니다 Most important is the situation of the balls Was it sitting right on top of the grass or was it sitting a little bit under the grass Easy to hit, it's not buried at all Then from there you can decide, okay I'm going to go for it, this shot 
but let's say if the ball is slightly under the grass I would recommend you to sacrifice that shot maybe you can use a utility instead ah. mm, yes where did you want to accelerate the speed? You don't want to accelerate right behind the ball or right at the ball. At this shot, I want you to feel like you want to accelerate a little bit forward. Get an extra feeling. Accelerate the, the speed right in front of the ball. Boom! Ball position slightly to the back side. Not too front. Too back as well, okay? Body also aligned on top of the club head. Same thing, not too far back. And this one accelerate the club head a little bit faster, right here. Okay, this spot right here, not back here, okay? Right here. Okay, I'll try and hit one shot first. Uh. Push the club far. Body goes left. Feel like you want to take a little bit of divots right here in front. Accelerate after the ball. Far away from your body. That leg and arc. Leg so and arc? Mm -hmm. So the arc will be a bit further, a bit oh, bigger arc. That makes very scary mental feeling to hit the ground also mm -hmm, mm -hmm. for beginners. Yes. You, know, you, you understand, right? I understand. Lateral movements. Without the lateral movements and the rotation, everything hits that shot right here. Lateral movement also means for beginner is a sway. If you are just lifting it up without rotation. Ah, this is not about this. Yes, this is the but lateral movement is just a little 0.1 seconds, right? Like feel and turn. Yes. Okay, yeah, another good yeah. point. Um, do you guys have the chainsaw? Chainsaw? Yeah. Oh. Ah, when you're like trying to start yeah, the yeah. chainsaw, same thing. So it's like pushing. On the back swing, you want to pull the chainsaw up, but this one you don't point down. Push, punch mm. down. And this hip is also going to towards the back a little bit up follow the hands boom mm. open up the body so you can just do this right you can just do this as well boom, open oh. so, so open. <laughs> mm. then from here on the coming down shift punch back boom. now it's your turn me yes very good then from here i want you to add slightly shallow only but with the shallow, doesn't mean the shallow and closing in, okay? Shallow and push back away from the body. Create more longer arc. Very good. Mm. There you go. Accelerate. Up the ball. Very good. Mm. Okay? This so point. Yes, correct. The speed that you want to generate more is after the ball, not right at the ball. Boom. Hand cross. Okay, set up. Watch me. Let go and lower the right hand down open feel like you're pulling away mm. apart okay. Okay. Hmm. the right hand drop the left hand open this way or yes. this way in front just in front here very good yes Boom. very good there you go the shallow and shoulder open up it's a two tempo it's like a two moves that we practice in one because in golf, we shallow, and then we open the left shoulder after. Mm. Otherwise, you're going to tuck back, right? So At this the also, same time. Yes. And this will work definitely for you because you are coming on top right here. With the left shoulder doing well, but the right shoulder still follow too fast. I need that. This yes. Part. Ah, so you, after cross, drop, open. Mm -hmm. Drop, open. Very good. Yes. Mm. Do this like multiple times at home. You feel the difference with the body. Very good. Uh, this one is uh, nothing to do. Not much. Just drop and this one go. Mm. Position is here, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Do five more times and then we'll try to hit some balls. Oh. Without thinking about anything, hit right away. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm getting like it. More power. A few more balls, then you should find your groove. 
Love it. I remember the key points. Use the leading edge approach right at the ball mm. and then use the capacity in the back to glide after creating this divot mm. a little bit right here. Okay? And accelerate speed up. Ah, so this ball. one cannot not lean like an iron. No, not so Just much. Just gliding means a... Uh, okay, I don't want you to stop and cast, okay? You still want to flow everything mm. down. Okay, again, approach the ball, the edge in the center, ah. right? Right at the ball then glide it. Follow through a little bit low, far, and fast. Okay, okay. low, far, and fast. Okay, each key point first. A little bit, good shot. You know, the taste of hands. Yeah? Yeah! <laughs> it's like sweet. Sweet. Dessert after a good meal. Okay, repeat it please. Leading edge approach right behind the ball. Follow through low, far and fast. 